Thanks again for seeing me. It's very kind to you. Yes, it is. Is this Alvin? Yes. I didn't know he wanted to be cremated. He didn't. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, first of all, I want to apologize for my mom's behavior. I bet you've been doing that your whole life. Pretty much, yeah. But in her defense... Yeah. The point is... She's just as devastated as you are by Alvin's death. Are you really comparing my loss to your mother's? No, of course not. I'm not here for her. I'm here for my kids. I'm sure you know that Alvin wrote a second will. Which he never signed or filed. What a shame. Go on. <laughs> right. Um, what you may not know is um, the money he set aside for me and my kids would be a real life changer. You know it was a real life changer for me? Finding out my husband had a daughter he never told me about. Yeah. That's got to be rough. But on the plus side... I hear she's a great gal. <laughs> so, all that stuff about you being a pole dancer and a drunk isn't true? Anymore. <laughs> well, you've given me a lot to think about. I understand this is difficult, so take all the time you need. No. <laughs> no, you don't need a lot of time? No, you're not getting a penny. I'm standing. Do you know what that means? <laughs> okay, well, I guess there's nothing left to say. I'll let myself out. You know, if I wasn't such a great gal, I would tell you to go screw yourself. So instead, I will say, good day. <laughs>